I grew up in Queanbeyan, so very close to the gallery here. Very lucky to grow up in Queanbeyan. It was a great uh, rural country town, you know, big sporting em emphasis growing up. Uh, you know, that community spirit, I suppose. You know, all the things that come with that. I love my sport as a youngster growing up. Uh, and also the farm out of Borough, so I used to go there quite a bit. So I think that was also lucky that you don't realise when you grow up in that sort of environment how fortunate you are that you have these opportunities to maybe ride a motorbike in a paddock and do some of these things which you just totally think are relatively normal when you're nine or 10, but clearly they're not. I used to commentate to myself in races that I'm in this race. Of course, I was on my own in a paddock, but I used to win all these races on my own. And, and I suppose I had that dream and desire to, I suppose, compete, loved, family life, love the way I grew up here and uh, my dad had a motorbike shop uh, and a pet well, the petrol station and the motorbike shop together uh, over the over the river there in Queanbeyan and I think you know petrol and engines is never too far away from from me you know I love the smell of the bikes and I love sort of I suppose the wind in my hair then I went into go-karts and then yeah so once I started karting I was very, very lucky that we had the go-kart track at, at a Fairburn out there because again uh, that was just such a so much luck involved for, 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 for me to have and that bond also with your dad was, was great. It was so tight to go and do those sort of weekends and I think that he gave me the, I suppose, the bandwidth to make some mistakes and, and learn and say, okay, man, that's definitely not the right thing to do there and, and just get that right barometer of, of counsel, I suppose, as a father but also having the, the discipline to, to get the results. The ratio between mentally and physically driving a Formula One car, you know, the, the mindset is, is a huge factor. You know, it's got to be 70%, uh, 80% of, of, of you getting in, in the car and having that focus and, and the level of concentration, of course, that I need to, to, to hold this, this beast of a car uh, in a very narrow window of performance for over two hours uh, requires an immense amount of concentration and then the physical component is of course there as well. The g-forces are very high, the heart rate is high, the adrenaline is very high, there's a cocktail of emotions going on which is extremely dramatic. And any sport really, if you've got baggage in your head and you're not clear um, emotionally, you know, you're thinking about consequences and things that might happen, whether it's personally, professional, whatever it is, then you can leave some change on the table. So uh, it's a unbelievable job obviously to to get the most out of yourself and uh, you know I was very lucky to do it for 20 years as a professional. Naturally in car racing there is there's an element of danger of course uh, and we bizarrely probably like that in, in a way it needs to be a level of, of balancing uh, that that car the speed obviously the risk that goes with that um, and it's all managed by us I mean we're we're really in charge of the, the limits that we we take and what is really going to be acceptable to take obviously corners at certain speeds and what's what's possible it's hard to get a manual and say how am I going to be a top racing driver consistently on all these difficult tracks around the world in all different weather conditions and against the hardest guys in the world so it's very hard to to read about that of course you can seek a bit of counsel off guys that have been there before for example Sir Jackie Stewart you know he's he's one of the biggest influences in my life when you get counsel off those guys you can learn from from scenarios and, and how they went about things it's that it's learning yourself as well there's no better way than to go through some of these challenges yourself because if you've got a tailwind through your whole profession then you don't do a great deal of learning you need some bumps in the road you know that's when you, you you learn the most and you come out the other side but i never saw it as i'm from australia it's going to be really really hard it, it was clearly but in all these sort of things you can put in your head but you you just have to get on with it because the sport won't stop uh, in that sense so you've got to make of it what you will uh, and there's someone will do it so it might as well be you you know